Hello my friends, and welcome. As the old saying goes, those who don't know history, are doomed to repeat it. It's important to know your history, not just the big names and key dates, but the little details that help us better understand a historic figure, or the era in which they lived. Maybe it's a surprising fact that makes you rethink conventional wisdom. Maybe it's a wild anecdote that seems too crazy to be true. Whatever the case, it is the little, surprising bits of history that are perhaps the most fun bits. The type of info that's so wacky and so out there that it could never be repeated, even if someone wanted to. Here is one of those stories. People like to dump on the Middle Ages for being Europe's cultural and technological nadir, especially compared to the surrounding Classical and Renaissance periods. For a lot of folk, everything you need to know about the Middle Ages you can find in Braveheart, or Monty Python. It was a simple, stupid period when superstition ruled the land, heads rolled daily, and people were covered in shite, all the time. It was also a time when many people believe Pope Gregory IX started a hate campaign on cats. Cats were brought into Europe from Egypt by the Romans and enjoyed a decent reputation for a long time, probably because they were such a boon to agricultural societies. Vermin did a number on harvests, but cats were nature's perfect solution. They literally can't eat anything that isn't meat. Which means that they pose no risk to the crops. Meanwhile, they need that meat on a regular basis. And they know how to get it, so they're great at killing and eating vermin. My guess is this had something to do with ancient cat worship in places like the great civilization of Egypt, which made its wealth by farming the fertile land around the river Nile. But feline human relations deteriorated sometime in the early 1230s, when Pope Gregory IX issued a papal bull, called Vox in Rama. This bull, the story goes, declared cats as the instruments of Satan, and set medieval Europe on a great cat purge, with special attention paid to black cats, who were particularly Luciferian. So, cats went from being the targets of pagan worship, to Catholic contempt, for these perceived similarities to the devil. This seems to add up, to the modern viewer. Medieval people were indeed superstitious, but so are modern folk. And cats are great but let's face it, they are assholes. They fly in the face of the Christian idea of God putting the natural world and its creatures here for humanity's benefit. People can make all manner of animals do what we like. We can teach oxen to plow, dogs to fetch game, elephants to paint, dolphins to plant mines, and ravens to hold grudges. But you can't make a cat do anything. And that's because its body is invested with the spirit of the morning star himself. From there it's just a couple of logical leaps to the connection to the Black Death. Inspired by Pope Greg IX, everyone across Europe killed off all the cats. Then, when the rats came bearing the plague, there were no ratters left to keep the disease in check. Over a period of five years, from October 1347, the Black Death would kill more than 20 million people in Europe, which at the time was almost one-third of the continent's population. You could say that Pope Gregory's insane war on cats categorically ended up being a catastrophe for us humans, in a cat malogen kind of way. And that my friends was one of the more strange moments in history. Let's all be thankful, that we have, as a more evolved species, have since learned not to repeat the same mistakes, never, not ever again. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.